Hi, Dan, Dan, and Grandma here. Now, Two Family Homestead put out a collaboration request and asked that we all submit recipes for homestyle dinners. And this is my submission to upload for that collaboration. Mine is going to be chili with cornbread with a little twist. I also tried to make cornbread muffins with chili inside. So check and see how that turned out. And I hope they don't disqualify me because I did use my kitchen fairies as my sous chefs. Is that okay? Now to start my chili, I put in about three tablespoons of oil. And then to that pan, I add one whole pepper, diced. And I also add one whole onion, diced. And to that, it wouldn't hurt to add about three cloves of garlic, minced. Now we cook these veggies over medium heat until the onions are translucent, maybe just a bit beyond that because it doesn't hurt to get them sweet with a little caramelization. And now I'm adding three tablespoons of chili powder and get that stirred in all good, coating the veggies. And now I'm adding one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And now I'm adding one pound of ground turkey. Of course, you can add ground beef, whatever kind of meat you'd like to have in there. So I'm breaking that up and I'm gonna start mixing it all in, and breaking it down, browning it up. And here I'm running into a little bit of trouble because the ground turkey is not as moist as ground beef and it was starting to dry out and I was afraid it was gonna burn. So I added a little water, took it off the heat, added a little water, and that did the trick. It loosened it up, saved the day, and I was able to bring it back over to the burner and continue cooking. Next I added one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Now I'm adding 16 ounces of home canned mixed beans. You can add as few or as many beans as you like. Some like it with a lot of beans, some like it with no beans. But I'm stirring those 16 ounces of beans in and now I'm adding 32 ounces of red kidney beans. If you use no beans, you can go ahead and add another pound of meat. But of course, beans really stretch your food dollar. I'm adding two tablespoons of brown sugar to offset the acidity of the tomatoes. And also one tablespoon of salt. Once everything is combined well, I turn the heat down to low and just let it simmer while I make my cornbread. To make my Johnny Cake cornbread, in a large bowl, I put in two cups of all-purpose flour. Then I add two cups of finely ground cornmeal. I was happy to find non-GMO cornmeal. Then I add two tablespoons of baking powder. and one teaspoon of salt. The dry ingredients get all whisked together until they're nice and incorporated. In a second medium sized bowl, I start the wet ingredients, including four eggs, One cup of oil, you can substitute a melted butter if you like. One cup of sugar. Now I know sugar is not a wet ingredient, but I want to cream that sugar in with the oil so that it gets all broken down and dissolved. So I'm beating it really well here to dissolve that sugar and cream it. 
And into that wet bowl goes two cups of milk. Then beat it just enough to get the thick eggs and the thin milk all nicely combined. Now the only thing left to do is to dump the wet ingredients into the bowl with the dry ingredients and mix them up real good. Now I'm buttering a ceramic pie plate, which I'll use as a short casserole dish. And I'm also going to butter a matching muffin tin. It's not a tin, it's ceramic, but a muffin plate. Muffin pan? What would you call that? I'm also going to try making some of my cornbread in my cast iron pan. So I've got it well greased and I'm putting it in a 350 oven to heat it up ahead of time. Now here's my little experiment. I'm going to put just enough batter in these muffin cups to cover the bottom. Because I'm going to try to make chili filled corn muffins. We'll see how that turns out. Now I'm adding about two tablespoons of chili on top of that layer of cornbread batter. And now I'm topping them off with more of the cornbread batter. A little thicker layer this time. going to continue that experiment and do the same thing with this pie plate. Just going to cover the bottom with the corn batter. Dump in a bit of chili. And then top it off with more corn batter. And then I repeated the process for my hot cast iron skillet. They all go into the oven. I'm baking them at 375 for about 20 to 22 minutes. When they come out, I'll test them to tap the top and see if they're a little cracked and ready to go and not mushy. I would suggest you wait until this cools off quite a bit before you try to cut it. Not only because it will come out of the pan easier, but because the texture improves as it gets a little firmer and it just makes for a better corn muffin type experience. So this is coming out a little wonky. It's a little too warm, but I do get it out and I am able to taste it. And here's those corn muffins I made that are stuffed with chili. There's just a little bit of chili in them to add a little pop of flavor. So to serve with chili, it's kind of redundant. I think I'd just rather have plain corn muffins, but these would be great for a luncheon or maybe for a hearty addition to a tea.
salad time. I've got romaine lettuce here. I'm washing it well and we're gonna spin it out. One apple, diced. And to this apple, I did add some lemon juice and a little sprinkle of sugar. I had some help adding some carrots. And then a little cauliflower and tomatoes, and some yellow peppers, a nice sprinkle of dried raisins and dried cranberries, and then some walnuts. Okay, I finished my meal, my chili and my cornbread and salad, and it was really good. So I hope you go ahead and try my recipe. And I'm, where are the fairies? Wait, wait, you're forgetting something. Fairies, you, you didn't clean up. Wait, fairies, you promise, you know, you're, you're my kitchen fairies? I mean, you left a mess. This, this doesn't look like my kitchen. Fairies, where, where'd you go? better. That's much better. Much, much better. Thank you, fairies, coming to my rescue again. Okay, that was a big meal. I'm pooped. I'm going to take a nap. So go to Two Family Homestead and look for their playlist of all the tubers that are going to be putting their entries in for the homestyle dinners. And I'll see you over there, too. I'm going to check them out. Okay, nap time for me. Bye. Why does she need a nap? <laughs>